We got a late one tonight. It is 3.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. April 22nd, 2019. Bright and early on Monday morning. I hope that all is well. And we have made it through this paganistic weekend. Easter. Though we know that Yeshua came to this earth and was hung on a tree, we understand that he rose on the third day. And we understand that when they consider Good Friday to be the day that he died, and they consider Sunday to be the day that he rose, we understand that according to numbers, that's only two days. You got Saturday and you got Sunday. That's just two days. But we've made it through. And it feels good to be an oddball when you're out in the city and you see everybody else dressed up in their Sunday's best and you just got on sweats a t-shirt, and some sneaks. You know what I mean? It feels good not to celebrate a paganistic hot holiday. It feels good not to eat ham and pineapple and dang on cakes and hot cross buns and all that type of stuff. I'm going to do a show today called The Armor of the Lord. It's important that we talk about it, though we know that it's important to put on the whole armor of the Lord. Sometimes we can forget that when it comes to having armor, we're supposed to get hit. That's the whole purpose of even putting on the armor. Batman can only be so good with his uniform, but he puts on a uniform to get hit. The same as Black Panther. Black Panther has on a nice uniform, but it's made to get hit. And a lot of times, we can say we need to put on the breastplate, our helmet, and our, you know, growing plate. And everything else. And forget. That we have to endure into the end. So I'm going to play a few jams. And um. I'll be back uh, momentarily. I'm going to play a few songs here. And uh. Enjoy. Real TV. I'm a man now, and I put away the childish things I used to do. I got a plan now, and I wanna live my dreams when I'm with you. I building, listen. I wanna get a building and put a house on the land and get some produce, get some family, build our family up. That's what I wanna do. It's not about a Grammy cup. It's not about no trophies. It's not about the people that the people owe me or the people or the money. Or it's not about those little things. It's about the big things. It's about the diamond rings. It's about me and you in our wedding bands. I'm your husband. You my wife man. We make the plans and we live in life. We hit in the islands and we just live in life and we just on the planes and we just flying around and we just taking trains to rock to Europe and the. I want to do all the things that I always dreamed of when I was a little boy. When I was saying that I wish that I could have a wife. Now I got you. It's like I got a life. And if I lose you, it's like I got a knife in my back. 
I can't explain. I'm a man now. I put away the childish things I used to do. I got plans now. And I want to live life with you. I'm a man now. I put away the childish things I used to do. I got a plan now. And I want to live my life with you. I'm building dreams. I'm building dreams for our family. I got dreams for me and you, for me and you and our family. The most beautiful thing that I ever seen. The most beautiful thing that I ever seen. I fell in love with your personality. I mean, your beauty is good. It caught me off good. I'm thankful for it. But I fell in love with your mind. I fell in love with your heart. And when I first saw you, I felt it in my heart. I knew that you was the one. My heart whispered to me that you was the one. My heart whispered that you was the one. You're the golden one. And you're my only one. I'm hoping I'm your chosen one. And I'm hoping we could raise a son. And I'm hoping we could have a daughter. I'm hoping I could be that father. I could be. I will be. And you could be the mother. We'll be a family. I just want to be a family, man. I'm building dreams. I got dreams. I got dreams for you and me, for our family. I know that it's a freestyle. I know that it's a freestyle. And that I, I just know I love you, babe. I just love you, babe. I know, just, I know I love you. Sometimes you can be in a situation that can be a little difficult. And it makes you wonder why we say good morning when we're feeling sad and we're mourning. So is that morning good or is the morning just a good morning? Went to Savannah Tech and then I dropped out. My math teacher kicked me out. I met my girl at the old mall. It was one call, after that we had a date I met my dad when I was 21 Or 22 And after that, I never seen him again I haven't met my brother yet He's still in the pen I lived with my mom when I was 13 Or When I was 14 For the very first time And that was only for four years And after that, never again Live with my grandma But I slept on the floor though We were so broke Peanut butters on the spoon and Roaches crawling on the ceiling Roaches crawling in the tub and Rolling crawling I remember when my I remember on my It's hard to talk about my job Call me a nigga But that was then And I took it to the EEOC And they didn't even do nothing back then And I tried to tell the truth then I tried to tell the truth then But people don't want to listen They like the commercial music Sometimes you need to hit the beach Sometimes you need to hit the beach Sometimes I need to hit the beach and just cry or just get up in the ocean and sit just 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 get up in the ocean and put just put just just put my faces down in the water and just 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 
Sometimes I just need to hit the beat Sometimes we just gotta hit the beat Sometimes we just need to go and sit Sometimes we just need to go and think Sometimes I just really need a drink And I don't drink And I don't smoke I don't drink and I don't smoke Sometimes I just need to Sometimes I just Sometimes Sometimes I don't even got the words to say I So I just freestyle So I just try to I just, I just try to pray I just need to go to the beach I just need to go to the beach Ha 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 Kareem Dad Mama Kareem Dad Mama Kareem I know you locked up bruh I know you locked up bruh Hey Hey, hey, I apologize for not writing you, bruh. I apologize for not writing you, bruh. I started writing, I never wrote back. I started writing, I never wrote back. I apologize, bruh. I apologize. I should have put money on your commissary, bruh. I apologize, I apologize. I shouldn't got groceries with that commissary, bruh. Ha, ha, ha. Ha, at 17, at 17, bruh, shot somebody, 17 shot somebody over a drug deal, I'm sorry that your mama died, bruh, I'm sorry that your mama died, bruh, we half brothers, but you still my bruh, bruh, you still my bruh, bruh, you were still in the pen, they gave you 25, last year you went in the pen, bruh. I don't even know what to say. I don't even, I don't even, I don't know what to say. Uh, one time, one time. I wish that I could hug you right now. One time, one time, one time. I wish that I can call you right now. One time, or oh, one time, or oh, one time. Dad, I never met you. I never met you. I mean, I only met you when I was 21. When I was 21. I met you first time at 21 I remember when you got out Dad, we went running together Dad, we went to Golden Corral Dad, I wrote you letters and you wrote back A lot of times we was on the phone I called you on the phone I told you about my problems I told you about my mama I told you, I miss, I mean I, Damn, I don't mean to curse You robbed two banks I don't mean to curse, but you robbed two banks and on the third time, you robbed the place by my job, but now you in the pen. You still in the pen. One time, one time. Oh man, one time, one time. I wish that I could hug you right now. One time. I wish that I could call you right now. One time. I wish that I could see you right now. One time. I wish that I can. One time. Ah. Ah. Mama, I thank you for joining the military. Mama, I thank you for showing me the world my, uh, Mama, I thank you for telling me about the girl Mama told you I'm, I'm, uh, I don't even know what to say My heart singing I don't even know what to say My heart singing I don't even know what to say My heart painting It's a lot of pain It's a lot of pain huh. Huh. One time One time I wish that I could hug you right now I wish that I can call you right now I wish that I could see you right now I wish that I could love you right now I gotta do better right now Cause I only got one time One time One time Oh one time Ha 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 My cousin Theron died Ha Ha I can't even cry I can't even cry Alligator tears right now I can't cry I wanna cry I gotta do right. I only got one time. One time. One time. So blissful. So natural. So natural. So wonderful. On a day like this.
It's incredible. Make me want to go outside and take my shoes, take a walk on the pavement. Take my shoes on the grass and just look at the clouds above and look at the ground around me. Listen to the birds. Look at the bees. Sit on the bench. Look at the trees. Think about life and think about the things that I need to do. The things that I want to do. I got plans and things that I'm going to do. No more of what it should have, could have. I'm about to do it. I got to do it. A mountain high, I got to climb. I'm on the top now. I want to help others now. I want to help others now. Less is more. But less is more. It's what the world portrays, but that's a wrong lie. That's a wrong lie. That less is more. That less is more. I need more people on this side of life. I need more people that I can relate to. I need more people that I can social with about these conversations that I've been learning about, though. Some people don't get it. A lot of people won't get it. And that's the sad part. Less is more. Less is more. In a world full of lies, less is more. In the world full of lies, less is more. Concrete pavement. I want to take my shoes off and walk on the grass. A lot on my mind. I need to sit down. I need to walk around. Sun shining. Matter of fact, it's a gloomy day. Clouds out. Out on this rainy day. Perfect time for a lovely walk out. On the sidewalk. Concrete pavement. I need to talk about my feelings But it's hard when I'm talking feelings So I'm quiet, less is more Now I'm quiet, cause less is more In this world full of lies, less is more Concrete pavement I just need to take a walk on the grass Lied on my mind, less is more, can't talk right now, cause less is more. And we are back with Real TV, I'm your host Michael Israel, thank you again for tuning in, wherever you are in the world, today's show is called Put on the Whole Armor of the Lord. Um, Shouts out to uh, Philip. Morris, I want to give you a heads up, high five, um, for tuning in to the video and to everyone else. But Phil, just to answer your question, that clip can be found, uh, or it's called The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Hunchback, Hunchback of Notre Dame is like a cartoon, I think it was from like 97 or something like that. You could peep that. Um, also, everyone else who show love, you know, I want to give you a, a black hand. Give you a black hand of applause. <laughs> she brew DNA. Thanks for looking out. Uh, appreciate the love. Always appreciate it. Um, to everyone else, thank you also. Uh, who else? Let's Let's give a few shout outs. Why not? It's a little late. Um, Goody M. F. L. A. What's up? Shouts out to you. Um, who else we got? What's up? What's up? Where we at? Um, Queen Hope. What's up? Happy Passover to you too. Uh, uh, Leap is. What's up, Jen? Baltazar, what's up? Um, let's, let's scroll down. We'll do a few more. Switch it up a bit, you know. Um, who is that? Sit, 
I hope I'm saying this right. Sim Simmon. Simmon 64. Um, you got a request if I can do a Jordan Peel Twilight Zone episode two. I could Simmon, but right now my hands are full. I have so much other projects that I'm working on that that will really put me behind. So maybe in the future, but right now I I can't I can't at this time. Uh but thank you. Thank you for for asking. Uh Kareem Davis, I see you too, brother. What's up, man? Hope all is well. Let me do a few more and then we'll we'll get into the show. Okay. okay. All right, let me see if I'm... Qu Quishins, what's up, brother? What's up, Quishins? I think I got that right. I'm not sure. Um, Eb... Eb... Dang. Abun? Abun Otik? Abun Otik? Abun... Otik, Otik, A, hey, Miss Davis, what's up, Miss Davis? Uh, all right, that that'll be it for right now. I know it's a lot of you all, but for the sake of the show and for the sake of time, I just wanna remind you that even though you can. Try your best to do good for the most high. Remember that every day is not going to be sunny. Every day is not going to be what you expect it to be. Though you're feeling great and though the sky may be blue and you had a great breakfast or lunch and dinner, there are people that are going to be in your life or in your circle at one point in your life, sometimes during your life rather, that are there for a reason, good or bad, good or bad, they are there for a reason, spiritually, to help you in your journey to righteousness for the Lord, so the people that you meet that you encounter that are on the up and up that are good, you know what I mean? That's a blessing. And those that you meet that are your adversary are your adversary for a reason. By permission, they have come into your life by the allowance of the Most High. Okay, so you have to understand that. And I'm I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you a picture story of what I'm talking about because I got a situation that's going on. But while we're at it, let me let me speak about this. Has anyone else had any um, temptations going on that you got to fight during this Passover? You haven't had a craving for like a, a slice of pizza, a hot dog. I mean, come on, am I am I the only one for like a uh, that that has a taste for a slice of cake or something? But let me let me tell you this: if you can persevere and you do what the Most High asks of you, it'll all be worth it in the end. Just imagine like the last day, like the day after Passover, you can pick out, you could order a pizza. You can get you some cake. You know, it's like when you don't when you can't have it, you want it the most. And right now, a slice of cake sounds good, but we have to be in the spirit. Remember, Adam and Eve were tested with food. They had simple instructions to our eyes. From our perspective, we we may think like, oh man, why they ate the fruit? All they had to do was not eat the fruit. But we we Put your put ourselves in the Passover position. He told us not to eat anything unleavened. 
you know what it took to to find everything that that has yeast in it in the house i'm up there looking at labels three and four times three and four times looking at labels from ritz crackers to dang on cheese it's and oh my goodness everything i'm checking i was checking cereal boxes i was checking uh dang on spices that i cook with I'm checking oatmeal. I was checking juice. Everything. <laughs> Things that you don't need to be checking. Toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? I was checking everything. And you know, I'm glad that I did. But it will be worth it in the end if we could persevere. You know, going through those small tribulations, which we, they seem small to us, but they're big to the Lord. Because he told us to do something and told us to do just that. That's that's what he wanted. It may seem little to us, but he wants us to do exactly what he asked of us. We may not understand it's an entirely of, of what it means, but we will. And that's important. But these little, these little, uh, uh, what can I say, tests are just that, and we have to pass them. Now. About a month and a half ago, I put in some vacation time for the Holy Passage, a full month and a half prior. Now, I never have any day, I never have any issues taking days off. Every time that I put time in, you know, I always get my PTO, you know, without question, especially when I do it in advance. For some particular reason, I wasn't circumspect. I didn't put on the full armor of the Lord. In my mind, I thought it was okay for me to mention, and I think maybe me mentioning it has something to do with me going through the situation. Well, what happened was in the system, I put that I needed the uh, days off from the 19th through the 27th for Passover. And um, when I put my dates... I put my reason why, and I didn't have to put a reason why. I wasn't being circumspect. Now, mind you, every time when I put vacation in, I never say anything. I just, you know, if I want a weekend off, I put it in. I don't say anything. I don't put a reason why. I don't say where I'm going. I don't even say thank you in a note box that you could put electronically in the system. I just let it be what it be. For this particular reason, man, I, I don't know. I I don't want to say I was feeling myself, but I was, you know what I mean? I didn't think it would be an issue, in better words. So I put that I need this special time off for religious purposes and that I, I'm not, I'm forbidden to, uh, something along the lines of I'm forbidden to work, you know, during this time and I need this time off. Now, I'm three days in to my vacation and I'm told that I should call the job to see what my schedule is going to be like. I'm supposed to be off like a full straight eight days and I follow up with the job and they tell me that I have to go back on Wednesday. So it's cutting into my, my Passover time. I'm not even trying to work. I'm just trying to just chill, sit back and take it easy. And, you know, I wasn't circumspect. So, yeah, you know, I could have dropped the ball and that could have been the situation. But on the other hand, it makes me wonder if they know who they're dealing with in so many words. I don't shave my beard down to the company standards. And I wear my fringes here and there, which I don't have to, to to prove that I am what I am. But my character outshines it all. But I wear the fringes, I, you know, and I have certain outer characteristics that may show that I'm a Jew. 
and um, I, I I vocalized it here and there uh, with certain people in the job, so they know. And it makes me wonder. Well, it it made me understand my perspective and what I'm dealing with. Not wonder. But I understand that we fight not against flesh and blood. Even though my manager or my supervisor is flesh and blood. But that's not the that's not what I'm dealing with right now. What I'm dealing with is a spiritual warfare. And it's to the point where I was so pissed off I put in my two weeks notice with, with this with this um with this job. Now mind you, I'll be working for this company ten years in August. Ten years in August I'll be working for this company. So it's bittersweet. But on the other end, let me let me tell you how the most high works. The most high set it up for me to get another job. I already finished the paperwork and everything. But my goal is to pull a double. You know what I mean? Work one job in the morning and finish the other job at night and to stack this paper so I can do some bigger and better things for the new year of next year. Like move and and build a tiny home and, uh, you know, get my land and everything like that. Hopefully be married by then, you know, Lord willing. You know what I mean? And... It's like when you try to better yourself, when you try to to stop fornicating, stop uh, uh, lusting, start living righteously, start praying more, not just over your grace when you eat food, but just, you know, just trying to be a better person. You will be attacked. And we have to remember that. Not only putting on the whole armor of the Lord is appropriate. But we have to be. Ready to maneuver. When. We are attacked. So not only do I have a, another job that's lined up. Where I could just leave but. I have a possible interview tomorrow or on Tuesday with a company that's so well off that I could be making $80,000 a, a year. I mean, and that's how the Lord set it up. But with this 80-year, 80 80,000 um, gig or whatever, I would have to let go both jobs and just, you know, hone down to one. But... I just got to stay prayed up and just like you have to be prayed up for whatever situations come your way in your life. So this show is just a reminder of you to let you know that whatever you're going through, you're not the only one going through whatever you're going through. Yeah, some days are good for us. And yeah, we have some downs, but we have to remember that the Lord is our savior and if we pray to Yahweh, everything will be cool. So everything's going to be cool, all right? Love you much. Stay tuned. Red TV.